All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the SDHI service module system, which is being made by form user some guy. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a number of service module parts to go along with the already in-game Mark 1-3 command pod. So let's jump right into the vehicle assembly building and have a look at what we do get. And now since this does work, or well, is meant to go with the Mark 1-3 command pod, let's pop that right on in there, and then turn on our janitor's closet mod filter, just leaving on SDHI. And the first part is not in command pods, nor in fuel tanks, but is in engines, with the sort of main service module here, the SDHI service module. Pop that right on there, and it has a built-in engine producing 60 kilonewtons of max the rust in vacuum with a max ISP of 345 using liquid fuel and oxidizer. Now it also does have a fuel cell converting liquid fuel and oxidizer into electric charge and then also holds a battery for electric charge of 200, a fuel tank of 360 liquid fuel, 100 monopropellant, and 440 oxidizer. All in all, a pretty wonderful little service module here. Now we then have nothing in command and control nor in structural, but in coupling, we got a couple of parts. The first being the SDHI Crew Module Adapter, which is intended to sort of not quite go there, but then the service module attached below it. And then we also have the SDHI Spacecraft Adapter, which is meant to connect the service module to the rest of your rocket. Both of which being good quality decouplers, but the Crew Module Adapter also also having built into it a reaction wheel and SAS, always good to have. Now in payload, nothing. Aerodynamics though, we got two more things. We have the SDHI service module fairing panel, and this attaches uh, to uh, this part right here, the crew module adapter, and it's actually a uh, three symmetry piece here, so if we go to the three symmetry, it goes all the way around, protecting our primary service module from the elements. And we then have the SDHI Mark 1-3 Pod Boost Protection Cover, which is meant to, well, cover up the Mark 1-3 to keep it safe. Though it uh, doesn't quite go there yet, there's a few other parts we got to put together first. Then in ground, nothing. In thermal, if we take that off, we do have the SDHI 2.5 meter heat shield, which, there we go, goes right on the bottom. We do have two different color schemes for you to choose from, and it is an ablator with a lifting surface, and oh, as good. And now with that, we can properly attach those bits. And then electrical, nothing. Communication, nothing. Science, nothing. And utility are our last two parts. The first one being the SDHI Clampotron docking port with parachute. And this goes, of course, right on the top there. And is, as the name implies, both a docking port as well as a parachute. And so it's nice to have both those combined into one. And the fun part about the parachute bit is it's actually a two-stage parachute, first releasing some drogue chutes to slow down the craft, and then releasing primary chutes. Very, very cool, very fun little thing. And then we have, well actually if we pop the cover now on, that's how that goes properly, we then finally have the SDHI Launch Abort System. Pop that there, and this is of course your own little launch abort system that produces 750 kilonewtons of a max thrust to basically, you know, eject the whole thing away. And it is based, of course, on solid fuel. All in all, it is a pretty awesome little system. I like having all these new parts to go along with the existing Mark 1-3 command pod. It's very nice to have that sort of a mod going. 
And this is, in fact, one of those mods I can't believe I haven't looked at. It's been around for a while, but I only noticed it recently when it updated to 1.6. So I'm very happy to finally see this as it is a lovely little selection of things. Now let's actually, to take a look at it in a use, go and load up the... Oh god, what did I call this thing? I think I just called it the name of the save file. There we are, the SDHI Service Module System. And we're going to launch it up a little bit with just a tiny amount of fuel just to get into the air to see all the parts functioning. So let us go to a launch and have a look at how this all works. Now I should actually mention a few things that I probably should have mentioned before, but there are some dependencies for this mod. And that of course is animated decouplers and real shoot parachute system and that's what allows these things to function properly and of course the usual module manager that everything needs but yes yeah, so with those two dependencies in hand you will be able to create this lovely new system for the mark 1-3 and i very much appreciate that so let's uh throttle this thing up hopefully i have everything staged correctly and fire there we are now of course with the interior our kerbals no longer have a view out of the windows because well it's covered <laughs> so if you're looking to uh look out at the world while you fly well, that's not going to happen. So let's actually start by dropping the uh, fuel tank engine and the three fairings there. Launch those. Lovely. We're then going to uh, launch off the uh, pad boost protector with the, well, abort system. Not really intended for that, but oh well, it makes it fun because we can launch it away. There it goes. And then throttle up our engine here on the service module. Very good. And we could, if we so desire, start producing some some uh, energy with the fuel. But let's turn that off. That is unnecessary. And so is the engine. Let us start falling back down to terra firma so we can then see the parachutes in action. Probably shouldn't have let us go up this high, but yeah, oh well, it works. Oh, there go the other parts. Hello. <laughs> All right, so let's release the first stage of the chute. As you can see, we just have two tiny little chutes, which are going to help slow us down, and then they are going to completely fill in a little bit to give us much more of a slowdown. And then the main chutes will open after that. There we go. They're open. And in a second, they should release. Excellent. And there go the primary chutes. Perfect. Perfect. And as you can see, the uh, whole decoupler system here actually did, you know, knock off all the parts. Now, one problem with the mod is this needs to manually be decoupled. There, it's not in the action groups for some reason. Or the staging, rather. You could add that to an action group, but, I mean... Or you could right click like I just did. One of the two, whichever you do prefer. But yeah, there we go. That is the SDHI service module system. It is a lovely set of parts to really bring a whole new life in my mind to the Mark 1-3 command pod. It's very cool seeing all these new parts to go along with it to make it more useful and more interesting. So if you'd like to take a look at this mod for yourself, which I would definitely recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for today, my friends. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod but until that time thank you for watching and as always have a good one